guys, this is Karee uh, with Kiss of Honey blog reviews. And the next review I'm going to be doing today, um, as you can see, depending upon lighting, um, I have a full face of makeup on. So um, I'm going to go through three steps um, that I use as far as my skincare routine. Um, it varies depending upon if I'm actually wearing makeup. But today I'm going to be um, doing this on step one and also going to be doing a review while we're doing this on one of the products and one of the steps that I'll be using. So once again, um, as you can see, I have a full face of makeup um, depending upon the light. So I do. Now, um, when I am wearing makeup, there's uh, one different thing that I usually do. I'll, um, when it comes to my skincare. I want to use a cleanser that's um, great for makeup and um, with the coats and the layers and um, everything that I put into it, I want something that's instantly going to melt and break through. So um, before I introduce this product, this is also one of the products that I will be reviewing this evening. And this is from the e.l.f. line. This is e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser. This cleanser um, basically is comes, it's created with purified water, argan oil, and a rose extract. Um, it's a new product from e.l.f. I try some of their products um, every now and then when I can find something, but I do find some real cute finds. Like this is also a e.l.f. brush. This is an angled blush brush by e.l.f. I really like this. Um, just recently bought eyelid primer because I wanted to work on some shadows. So I just recently purchased this. And um, a friend of mine told me about these lashes and I've been looking for them for the past month. These by e.l.f. This is um, their Lux Lash Kit. And these lashes are in Starstruck. I saw these and I instantly fell in love with these. And this lash kit, it just comes with the tweezers and the lashes. So let's get started with this. Um, once again, I'm familiar with e.l.f. products. I've tried them before, so I know that their products work well. Um, this is my first time trying this, so I'm excited on trying this. Um, one of the reasons e.l.f. comes to mind is because when I'm usually doing some shopping, whether or not it's in Ulta or Sephora, or even at um, just like a cosmetic store in general, I always um, run into some type of e.l.f. product. So, also, they're um, anti-cruelty, so they're against using any of their products on animals, so that's a plus. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. As you can see, the bright packaging. This is the jar. This is how it looks. Pretty cool. Uh, so, this gentle and hydrating formula transformed from a gel to a milky cleanser to easily dissolve makeup and cleanse the skin. So, definitely looking for something to melt the makeup, like I mentioned with the layers that I added on and something that's going to specifically do that. Since I'm not going to be using makeup wipes, I'm going to go right into using this. So, brand new. Ooh, ah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on applying this on my face. And um, stay tuned, we're going to get right back to this. Matter of fact, before I even stop and do that, I can actually do this while you guys are here with me, right? So, I already have me some water to the side and a towel so I can go ahead and easily remove. I'm going to wet my hands. Um, I've already pushed back my hair. Take this to activate this with a little water. Okay. 
Good night. One of my kids in the background. So I'm just scooping this out. My hands are damp. I just want to put it evenly on my face before I add any water and leather. I, uh, I must say, it glides on smooth. It's not bulky or anything like that. So it does go on pretty smooth. Okay, so I've edited it all over. I'm going to take my towel here. I have some lukewarm water. Oh, some warm water. Yeah, it's feeling about lukewarm. And um, before I start going in there, I'll wet my hands a little bit more. And let's leather this bad boy up. You can see it is doing as promised. So it is um, lathering into a milky sort lather. I decided to use my hand instead of the towel to leather. This way I can show you guys that it does have a light leather, a light milky leather. Okay. So here's my face. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my towel. And go right in. Removing the makeup. I can say that it is removing it faster than if I was just using an ordinary cleanser. Now, um, for my own skincare, I always start off with a cleanser. Um, tonight, I just decided to try out this particular product to um, complete the review. crazy I'm like on film removing all my makeup I'm beautiful with it or without it so yes I am <laughs> if I can manage to figure out how I can speed the video up for you guys I really would Okay, so I'm just getting the last little bit. Yes, these brows are mine. I just um, filled them in. So I have a make sure. Awesome. So I have fully removed my full face of makeup with using this e.l.f. product. 
hydrating gel melt cleanser so um, it's no smell to it it is a milky finish uh, with my particular skin since my skin is um, kind of sensitive I very much so watch what I put on it but um, as far as melting through the makeup it did I do have a I feel like my face is definitely clean and I've removed majority of the makeup off just using that cleanser itself does feel kind of drying after a while on your face especially since I haven't really moved into applying moisturizer or anything but I want to um, complete another step on my face because I can still feel as if that my face is my pores is not as clean as I want them to, especially with wearing makeup. I want to make sure I get all of um, anything that's left inside of my pores out so I won't block any of my pores and um, provide moisture hydration through um, some of the oils I'm going to be using. So my skin can say supple. and hydrate it. I have oily skin in my T-zone areas and dry skin in some areas because of my psoriasis. So I fall in between combo skin, but either way. Okay, so this has been the review for this e.l.f. product. I would say that um, because I didn't move into direct moisture, you know, adding moisture or hydration, it does leave a drying feel that feels sort of like a film left on the skin. But um, the skin to feel, it does feel as if that is plain and all the makeup has removed. But like I said, for my skin, it did leave it um, kind of dry. Kind of dry, like up in like all up in the area, not the whole face yet, but it did yeah, feel kind of dry. So for this product, um, it was convenient. I did get this uh, from Ulta. It was convenient to purchase. It did exactly what it said it was going to do. The only fallback here is that it did leave my face feeling kind of dry, like it feels kind of dry and tight when I do this. So, um, if I had to rate this, I will rate it uh, 4.5, only because I do, it feels kind of drying. And that's for my skin, so I would still rate it a 4.5, because I could have went ahead and moved right into moisture, adding moisture to my skin, but I didn't. So, um, once again, thank you guys so much for staying up with me uh, for this particular review on my nighttime skincare regimen. And um, this tonight, I am actually using instead of my regular um, cleanser, I'm going. I was using this Elf um, hydrating gel melt cleanser since I had a full face of makeup. So um, my rating four point five. Uh, check all of this out in our next videos coming. And thank you guys so much. Bye.